Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, welcome back to another video on the channel where today we are going to be going through what I believe to be the top five best formations currently in FIFA 20. Now I'm someone that's had a lot of experience this year with every type of formation and especially recently we've been playing a lot of draft. So obviously in draft you have to play a lot with a lot of different formations. So I've just been experiencing a lot of formations recently in draft and I've had great success. So today I'm going to share with you what I believe to be the top five. Starting off at number five, we've got the 4-3-3-5, interestingly, and uh, this is a formation that I had a lot of good success with, and I find it to be a really cool formation. It's just really, it's, it's hard to explain. It's one of those things you've got to play with to understand, but it's really intricate, really good if you want to play sort of tick attack or quick passing. These are the tactics that I did eventually settle on. You'll see a pretty much a very similar set of tactics on all five of these formations. I'm someone that doesn't really change my formations too much, uh, my tactics too much when it comes to formations, but that's what I went for. Instruction wise as well, in every formation you're gonna see here today, the back four is gonna have stay back while attacking. Uh, for me, it's the only way I like to play when it comes to back four. I like to have my uh, my defenders always staying back, having a solid foundation and going from there. Petit, uh, the, the CDM, I've got on man mark, stay back while attacking cover center. Pretty self-explanatory when it comes to uh, to the CDM. The two midfielders, Neymar and Del Piero, have got balanced attack, get into the box for crosses. Because we've already got quite a few players back um, defending-wise. Obviously, we've got the, uh, the full-backs, uh, the centre-backs and the CDM. We're going to be a little bit more aggressive when it going forward, so going to uh, get into the box crosses is the way to go. Crespo we've got on stay central and false nine, of course, is a centre forward, so I like to go with that false nine, meaning that my two wingers can be on cut inside and almost play like narrow strikers beyond Crespo. And this is an exceptional setup and it works extremely well. I really do like this formation, so that is number five. Now in at number four, I've gone for the 4 4 one You see currently in this uh, in this draft we are in, we're in the final, uh, which is really, really cool with this 4 4 one formation. Now obviously, this is the good thing about obviously drafting. You know, they've got lots of different players, lots of different formations, and I've, I've really warmed to this formation recently. Um, I find it to be a very great formation. Obviously, as I said, my tactics are pretty much the same. The only things that really change is the width um, on the offense and defense on uh, on each formation, dependent on the formation. Instruction-wise, as I said, stay back while attacking for the defenders. The uh, the two wide midfielders, Hadji and Messi, I've got on get in behind and get into the box. I haven't got these ones on cut inside because we've got the Dominguez, Gerard, Owen, and Eusebio. We've got quite a few players, you know, four players there on the inside. So it's uh, we don't want to get too crowded in that midfield area. So we don't need to have them on cut inside. Speaking of Dominguez and Gerard, we've got them on balanced, uh, pretty much balanced for everything. Um, we want to have good box-to-box -box midfielders, which is exactly what they are. They fit the profile. And uh, Owen and Eusebio on stay central and get in behind. Obviously, want to utilize their pace and finishing ability. But this is a great formation. Really, really warm to it. Very, very solid, uh, difficult to break down. Obviously, we're only playing on balance. We're not playing on drop back or anything like that. We ain't those type of guys. But very solid formation, but actually surprisingly easy to create a lot of chances. This is a really very, very underused formation. So if there's one of these formations I recommend you try, it's definitely this one. It's a very good formation. Now, the number three formation is going to be the 4-3-2-1. Obviously, this is the formation that I've probably had the most experience with this year. I've used this formation probably more than anything. Um, I, had, I had a lot of success with it at the beginning of the year. The reason why it's at number three, obviously, uh, attacking-wise, it is phenomenal. Defensively, can be a few problems here and there, especially if you're playing some really top-tier opponents. Um, defensively, you can get caught out. That's why it is the number three formation. Tactics, there you can see my tactics. The only thing that's really noticeable is the, the width on the offense. Obviously, it is quite a narrow formation. So I want to have a little bit more width, especially up front with my two uh, left and right forwards. Obviously, I want them to be a little bit narrower, a little bit wider, so uh, to, to kind of cause a few more problems, and that works extremely well for me. In terms of the uh, the defenders, we're going to stay back while attacking. Petit, uh, the, the midfielder, I like to play more as a, set, a CDM, so stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box. Two outside midfielders, uh, Del Piero and Crespo, have got balanced, and the only thing that's changed is on getting to the box for crosses. The two wingers getting behind, that's pretty much it. And then Mbappe on stay central and getting behind. Um, obviously, you want to utilize that pace. But attacking wise, this formation is one of the best for sure. Defensively, like I said, can be found a little bit wavering. Um, but offensively, create a lot of chances with this formation. Very, very easy to score goals with this formation. Even if you don't have great caliber players, you should still be able to create a lot of chances with this formation. The number two formation that I've gone for is the 4-3-3-4. Now, for me, this is the best attacking formation in the game. This is the one formation that every time I play, no matter what players I've got, no matter nothing, 
This formation, I always score bucket loads of goals with. I played a draft the other day with this formation. Four games, won the draft. I scored 19 goals in four games. It was mental. Now, maybe you could say not very good quality opponents, but still, to score that many amount of goals in four games is mental. That's nearly five, ga five goals a game on average. So these are the tactics that I uh, always go for when I use the 4-3-3-4. Like I said, pretty much don't change them too much. When it comes to the instructions, like I said, as always, stay back while attacking for the back four. Two midfielders, we've just got on balance. The only thing we've got is cover centre. Uh, other than that, pretty much balanced as always. The central cam, as you know, we go free roam um, when we just have a single cam, a single central cam. It works extremely well. The amount of, op the amount of chances, the link up, the, the space this guy creates is just a top, top instruction. It, I've no this is probably the most critical and, uh, and useful instruction that I've found all year. It just creates so many opportunities and this is one of the things that really changed the game for me uh, when attacking. Crespo, stay central, get in behind. Two wide players, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box. But this is a formation that if you can't create chances and score goals with this formation, there's something wrong with the way you play because you should be able to create bucket loads of chances. And surprisingly, even though it is quite an attacking formation, I've never really found it to be like terrible defensively. You know, compared to the 4-2-3-1, I for some reason do find that one um, not the best defensively. But this is not terrible defensively. I really don't seem to concede a lot of goals whenever I use this formation, but I always score a bucket load of goals. So this is great. If you want to have fun games of FIFA, this is your formation to go with. And then in at number one, it is going to be the 4-2-3-1. Now, maybe a little bit boring. Uh, obviously, it is probably the most used formation this year. Uh, you know, it's one of the reasons why I went, I went away from playing champs and why I play a lot of uh, a lot of draft at the moment is because you don't ever use the same formation. You know, everybody's always got a different formation, lots of different players, different, you know, bigger player pool. So it's just more fun to play, I think, a game mode like draft compared to champs because most people play with this. But it is an exceptional formation. It has everything you need to be successful. You're able to score lots of goals. It's very difficult to break down. Very easy to play tick attack if you want to play that way. These are the tactics that I always use for the 4 2 3 one as always, pretty much the same and standard for all my fullback formations. Uh, the, the fullbacks, as always, on stay back while attacking. The two midfielders, man mark and stay back while attacking. Uh, fan man mark is more effective for me. Obviously, Del Piero is not really a CDM. Um, it's just more for purpose. Just, just don't really pay attention to the players we've got. It's more about the instructions. Neymar, as I said, when you've got that single central cam, get into the box and free roam works a treat. Two wide cams on the, just get into the box and Crespo on stay central and get in behind. But this is an incredible formation. These, for me, are the best formations in the game. There are a few other good ones that maybe some people might might think. The 5-3-2, I think, was very close to making the top five for me. I think the 5-3-2 is a really, really good formation. The 4-3-3-2 is good as well. And the 4-4-2, of course, is a great formation as well. Now, obviously, formations dictate obviously are dictated by how good you are as a player. And that's, for me, why I like playing draft because it forces... Draft is a real good test of your skill because you always use different players, you always using different formations, so it really tests your, uh, you know, skill to be able to adapt to the formation and not just have something you're very comfortable with and use it time and time again. The fact that I'm able to to change into all these different formations and still have really good success is something that I found really fun in FIFA and, and why I love playing draft at the moment. But these are the top five formations that I've come up with. So if you do want to check them out and you do want to try them out, let me know in the comment section how they went for you. If you do want to see any more vids, make sure you drop a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button as well if you are new to the channel. And that's all today guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.